You're on. Hi, I'm Amy Hood. I'm representing the Wildfire Gourmet Cooking Team. We're from Fredericktown, Missouri. We are the reigning world champions. We won Memphis in May this past May. Um, and defending that title, we cook every weekend on a Memphis in May event. This will be our 20th event this weekend. Uh, we've had an incredible year. Uh, we've accomplished about 15 grand champions. Uh, this weekend, we'll be cooking whole hog, uh, pork shoulder, pork rib, and of course, we're going to do the dessert category also. Uh, we've got a lot of good friends here helping us this weekend. We're glad to be in Lynchburg and we're glad that the weather has finally cleared off to have a great event. How about some cooking tips? Cooking tips, um, I say, <laughs> start out you got to have a good cooker. Uh, we use a backwood smoker that we've been uh, real successful with. Uh, uh, of course, Buddy's cooking his hog on a, a JR's, which is uh, one of the more popular hog cookers on the circuit. Uh, I can't say, you know, as far as what what's the best cooker out there, it's just what works for you. We can use the wildfire charcoal. Um, as far as uh, cooking secrets, <laughs> I don't know if I want to let all those out. It takes a lot of patience. A lot of patience, a lot of hard work, and a lot, a lot of good people helping you out. Y'all use a dry rub or? Uh, yeah, we on our rib we start out with um, a two and a half pound uh, loin back rib. We trim it down uh, to make it consistent size throughout. We use a brown sugar based dry rub. Uh, we coat it completely backside and top. Uh, cook it for about two hours, approximately 250 degrees. We move it and we steep it in a cooler. And we place it back on the cooker for an additional hour and, and then we feel like we have an ultimate product. Great. Good afternoon. We're here at Jack Daniels in Lynchburg, Tennessee, and we're the Pyro Pig Maniacs. I'm John Snyder, and this is Max Loudenslager, our chief cook. And we're here to try to win again. Last year we won this sucker. So we're going to try to come here and do it again this year. Uh, our categories this year are whole hog, shoulders, and ribs. And we wouldn't miss this contest for anything in the world. We love it here. And the weather's holding out for us, because I got my rain insurance on. <laughs> yeah, this is a mutter. Okay. Uh, Don't let your fire get wet. Right. That, that's a good one. Well, cooking, uh, there, there are two very um, different philosophies on cooking. We have the Memphis and May circuit, and then we have the Kansas City circuit. And this is one of the Kansas City. So we have to change our cooking techniques a little bit when we come here. And that means that we have to have a product that has a slight tinge of vinegar to it. Uh, it means that um, our barbecue sauce is very important in Memphis and May, is not so important here. It's more of a taste. In Memphis and May circuit, we have three on-site judges as well as a blind. Here you only have the blind. So what goes in that box is it. It's one shot, and that's hey, it. Today, the blind is a benefit, right? That's correct. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, Why is that? <laughs> well, how we're dressed would kind of explain it, down to my rain insurance boots. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it isn't raining, it isn't Jack Daniels. That's what I've noticed that's over right. the last four years. And we have to be prepared for that, too. Yep. Do you cook any different in the rain than you do when it's hot? Uh, you notice we do keep a cover over the top of our cooker over there to keep the rain off of it and stuff. That's important because the rain can uh, take the temperature off of an indirect cooker, which that is, and it's very hard to get your temperature back if it's exposed to the rain and water. How much heat would you lose from rain in the rain? On an indirect cooker in the rain itself, you could lose probably 35-40% of your heat right. on there. And with that set up there, the way we have it, we wouldn't lose uh, probably 5%. Right. That's very important because uh, cooking whole hog and shoulders, uh, you know, you're talking about cooking time of 18 to 20 hours, and if you lose temperature during that time, uh, your your meat's not going to be done by the next day. So it's very important to keep that temperature up. Where do you hold your whole hog? Well, right now we're holding our hog is ready. And what we're doing is we're holding it 160 to 180 degrees, just holding temperature. And that's, that's a little below slow cooking temperature, which is 200 to 225. And uh, we're just keeping, keeping track of it. It's ready when we are, and uh, we'll just keep it that way. How do you prep your whole hog and what size hog do you like to cook? This, well, we normally cook between 110 to 120 hog, pound hog, and uh, we use a, uh, a vinegar washed 
over the meat and then we apply the rub to it and then we do a, an injection which is uh, based on garlic and cumin in an apple juice carrier to put it inside of the meat so it cooks out and it gives a, a good flavor to the inside of the meat. And another thing that we do here for Kansas City Circuit, um, I mentioned earlier that they like a little, little bit of a vinegar taste. We have a dipping sauce that we use. Now that dipping sauce, again, is, um, it's got a little vinegar base to it, Worcestershire, garlic, cumin, celery, and uh, it puts a little extra taste in the meat, which they like here. Well, neither one of us are the rib cookers, but, <laughs> but we know the process. Uh, first of all, uh, just like we do our shoulders, we trim the ribs a little bit. Um, cooking time on the ribs is about seven hours. So they're prepared, first of all, um, with a coating of regular mustard, just any brand old plain common mustard, mustard, which uh, holds the dry rub. And they're, they're coated with dry rub. Uh, they're cooked for four hours with this dry rub and they're usually double stacked and rotated every couple of hours so that they baste each other. Then after that four hours, they're wrapped in aluminum foil with about a half a cup of pineapple juice and sealed for another two hours. Now that tenderizes the meat. Then for the last hour, we put on a, a coating of barbecue sauce and honey, which gives them their final taste. That's reduced on it makes a nice glaze to the rib itself. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a wet rib is what we end up with, uh, what we call in Memphis. Well, it, it has been. It's it's done pretty good for us uh, over over the last few years. We were. I think we told you every secret <laughs> I, we know. <laughs> I mean, uh, all we got to do is get down to get to how much of this and how much of that. <laughs> Hey John, why don't you tell them uh, how, how we won this thing last well, year? Well, you really, you want to know the secret of how we won. You remember when you were a kid and you had a big old sucker and you didn't want to share it with anybody and you'd lick all over it and nobody wanted it? Well, last year, this trophy was displayed in a hardware store in Lynchburg and I went up and licked it and nobody else could win it after that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a secret to winning. Well, it might not be iron free like so that. So you I'm judge just the, uh, the sauce, huh? Well, this first category, they have a sauce category, mm -hmm. and then uh, 1230, every 30 minutes, another category goes in, and, and uh, 1230 it's ribs be the first meat category. And then the last category of the today is uh, pork shoulder. No, no dessert. But we're not in dessert. 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 Last right. year I did dessert, so I didn't place. I made Jello shots. <laughs> <laughs> what you have in those Jello shots? Vodka. Vodka. <laughs> vodka and Jello. Nobody liked them. I did. <laughs> I was going to a football game a couple of years ago, and somebody had some of those, and they had vodka in them. And boy, I'll tell you what, you talking about giving you a kick? Hey, they will. <laughs> they did. Them Jello shots are. They're not just good, they're good for you. Yeah. Uh, looks like the weather ain't gonna I'm gonna go turn this in. You be careful. I will. All right. Oh, I need my stick. Yeah, don't forget your stick. Now, do y'all go around a lot of these things? Well, this year, this is just like our sixth one we've been to this year. Normally, we'll do, we try to do like 15 to 20, but uh, we've been busy this year. Besides, we're getting old, slow. What's this old and slow thing? My wife says that, and I kick her in the... <laughs> no, it's, it's the truth. I mean, used to, Tess and I, we could do this all day, all weekend, go one weekend, next weekend turn off and go another 500 miles and do another. Mm -hmm. Now we've got to rest. Get home, we've got to rest. I don't know what rest is. I, I don't well, we don't either, but... My job keeps me going about seven days a week. We got these, uh, we got one daughter we're trying to get married off. And, They've got this old house. We've been working on it all summer, so we just haven't had time to go to competition. But, but we've gone to some. We went down in Louisiana, went to Indianapolis, up to Kansas City, hit a couple there in uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma has some good cook-offs. Yeah, I'm going through Oklahoma week, week after next. Are you? Well, come by and see us. Well, I, I, I hope to be, my son's got a car and I've been getting it fixed up for him, an old truck. I'm gonna be moving through. I'm going to be going through Oklahoma City. How far are you from Oklahoma City? About 50 miles north. Small town. 
Well, I wish you luck today. Hey, we need all the luck we can get. <laughs> Which one of those competitions you're talking about do you have to win to get here? Well, you got to win. Uh, you either got to win a state championship or you got to win a sanctioned cook-off that has uh, 50 or more teams entered in it. And we got lucky enough, we won the Oklahoma State Championship. So when I won this cooker and won the invite, you get you win an automatic invite to go to the Kansas City Royal, but then to come to Jack Daniels, you all the uh, all the qualifying teams go into a lottery. Then you've got to have luck on your side to be drawn out of the lottery. How many did you draw out of the lottery? This year they drew 34. So 44, excuse me. So we felt real lucky. We was number seventh drawn. We was happy. Couldn't wait. I can't believe it's going to rain. So today you're doing everything but dessert. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to do dessert. What time is it? Uh, 12 o'clock. Ought to be 12 o'clock. Well, about four minutes till. Dessert doesn't go that way until three o'clock. By then, we're going to have all this cleaned up. Going to be loaded up. Going to be ready to head back to Oklahoma. You're going to leave before they give you your. Trophy? Well, in case we would happen to get a trophy, we will be here, no doubt, Mark. We'll be here. But no, we uh, we got some we got so far to go. You know, we got to get four or five hours in this evening before we crash and sleep. <laughs> what other cooking tips can you share with us today? Oh, anything you want to know? I mean, you know, you're talking to. Uh, someone who doesn't really know nothing, I'm still learning myself. So I might take some cooking tips. When you stop learning, you die, right? That's right. You always gotta be open-minded. Everybody's got all these ideas and hey, they all work. It just had, it all depends how you put them together, how you combine them. Good luck to you, Johnny. Turn my whiskey in. All right. No, we're not doing anything different today. I mean, we're cooking like we've cooked for the last, uh, really four or five years. The, what's, that's what's nice about coming to Jack Daniels. They give you a choice of five categories. You got five meat categories, but you can only enter three. So you can pick out what you feel like are your strong categories and that's what you cook in. So we kind of like that about coming to Jack Daniels. Today we're cooking uh, brisket, ribs, pork shoulder, the other two categories that we could have cooked in would have been whole animal, which would have been a hog or uh, poultry, chicken. We don't do very good with chicken, so we ruled it out real quick. It's a long ways to haul a whole hog, so we brought little pieces of meat. Is this meat you brought some you selected from your line? Yes. Yeah, this, uh, all of this meat is either meat that we processed ourselves or slaughtered ourselves and, and uh, brought it with us. Everybody thinks I got an inside edge on that, but it's not. You, you can have the finest pe piece of meat in the world, and it's what you do with it. That's what matters. It's and, what you uh, do with it. Hopefully, we can repeat that uh, for our second time here. Uh, last year, we qualified uh, twice to be here, but we didn't get picked. So hopefully, we can continue on a good roll. Um, a lot of these teams we cook against through Houston or through Texas. Because I guess there's about five Texas teams around. Okay. Uh, this weekend we're cooking brisket, pork ribs, and pork shoulder category, along with the sauce. And I think we'll throw in a peach cobbler for their dessert. <laughs>